Hello friends, welcome back to my second channel. Welcome back to Jack in the Books. Today, I'm coming to you on location <laughs> in Dubrovnik, Croatia. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I've fallen head over heels in love with this city. So much so that I have extended my stay. <laughs> I say that like it was intentional, it wasn't. Basically, I had like a work event. It was a virtual thing, which I thought was on the 24th. Turns out it was on the 23rd, at the exact same time as the flight that I booked back to London. <laughs> so I basically realized that I could either turn down the event and make no money, or I could do the event and miss my flight and then spend the money that I earned on the event on staying here for a few more days. So that's what I'm doing. That's why I'm still here. However, I brought a selection of books here with me, which I've now read. I've finished all of them. So I need something new to read. And so I'm going to try and find some Croatian literature in a Croatian bookstore here in Dubrovnik and I'll see what I can find and I'll take you along with me. Um, I really want to read something by a local author. So we'll see what they have. I'm not sure. I really am going in blind. I don't know what I'm looking for, but that's kind of part of the fun, I think. So I thought I'd bring you along with me. And look, this is like the most beautiful place to start a vlog ever. For now, this is my view of the port. So beautiful. Ah yes, this is what I'm looking for. So these steps right here are apparently very well known because they were in Game of Thrones. However, I have shamefully never watched Game of Thrones, <laughs> so I literally have no idea what's going on. The market is happening right here. It's such a lovely city. Okay, here we go, we've found the bookstore. Okay, so no luck so far. They did have English books, but a very small selection of them. But I think that there's actually another algebra bookstore just down the road. Exact same name, same logo and stuff, so I assume it's the same thing. I assume that they just couldn't get a store big enough to do like the whole bookshop in one location, so they have two. And so I'm gonna go and check out the other one and see what they have. Okay, here we go. This is Algebra Take Two. Okay guys, that was a roaring success. Isn't this just beautiful? This is my Airbnb, not gonna lie. I feel so freaking cool every time I come and unlock <laughs> this big old door. Okay, so for the first time in my life, I'm a fan of Algebra. That was the name of the second bookshop that I went to and they absolutely pulled through. Not only did they have an English section, they also had a section of Croatian authors translated into English. So I was in heaven and I bought three books. So firstly, we have this one. This is called In a Sentimental Mood and honestly, same. This is by Ivana Bodrozic and translated from Croatian by Ellen Elias Borsak and also Demir Soden. It's described as emotional but never woeful, deliberate yet playful, poetry capable of reaching the highest and deepest registers of expression. From abstract jazz-inspired musings to bedroom intimacies, these poems converse with the idea that being alone is not the worst thing that can happen to a person. To lose your dignity and the dignity of your words that is the worst thing. How interesting does that sound? Plus I am on my own, so it's nice that this poetry collection is gonna be like, hey, there are worse things. <laughs> Next, I bought this book. It's called Wild Woman, and this is by Marina Serpolovsky and translated by Kristina Pribichevic Zorik. And there's this whole moment going on in publishing right now of kind of unhinged, chaotic women. Books like My Year of Rest and Relaxation, Boy Parts, Milk Fed, they're all having this huge moment right now. And so I wondered what the Croatian kind of take on that would be. So this is described as an anti-love story set against a backdrop of economic hardship. Told through the undiluted language of thought and mania, the twists and turns of internal dialogue are brought alive by a narrator determined to find her true voice. It is a warning against letting life slip through one's fingers and a call for personal liberation and authenticity. Wild Woman, set in 1970s Croatia, is the story of an every woman. The story begins with a love affair between two students of literature. Now hold on. 
Hold on! That is up my street. That's not just up my street, that's pounding on my front door. So these students bond through shared experiences and rush into the romantic dream of marriage. However, what at first seems idyllic to a young woman in love soon becomes a nightmare as she finds herself the victim of an unscrupulous, lazy womanizer whom she must support financially and who often disappears without explanation. To break free of him, she must first break free of the constraints placed on her by her family, her community and tradition. She must go wild. Sign me up. Sign me up. That sounds phenomenal. First name Sue, second name Pub. Superb. And the final book that I bought is another poetry collection, but this one is like a narrative poem, which I thought sounded so interesting. Also, there was a choice of maybe about like five <laughs> books, and so I picked three of them. And this one is described as the first and the last book of the new Croatian poetry. What does that mean? I want to know. Oh yeah, and this is by Monica Herseg and translated from the Croatian by Marina Veveric. Initial coordinates meditates on the author's earliest childhood memories in a small rural village in central Croatia as war breaks out in the 1990s. So it's a magical realist novel told through verse and it explores the history of a family through how they endure the overall decline of village life. Drawing directly on Slavic mythology, this bold, unforgettable work mimics oral traditions, reflecting the people who helped shape Herseg's voice and perspective, one very much rooted in the resilience of nature's rhythms. Right? These just sound so good and I've never heard of any of them before, which was my loss and now my gain. So I'm excited to read these and that is what I'm going to be doing for the next couple days. Look at this beach <laughs> that I've just found. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. Times have changed, I'm aware of it But someone find a section that I'm best to fit Like which table am I best to sit? I'm sat in a dinner hall, a drench in a bag of chips Imagine if I knew this then I know that life is pretty easy but my lifestyle's pain I'm living off the thoughts that used to eat me up silently In fact I'm getting better with this battle from anxiety I'm Okay, it's now the evening time I've actually read both the poetry collections that I bought And they were so good I really enjoyed them I'm gonna post my favourite lines to Instagram Because there were so many good quotes I was like underlining Especially um, initial coordinates That was so beautifully written And just this stunning portrait of a family's kind of like rural life, really invoking the natural world and it, yeah, it was just exquisite. And I'm so grateful that I had this opportunity to go to a Croatian bookstore and find some Croatian books. I definitely think this is going to be something that I do more and more of, like when I travel around I'm going to try and find more books by local authors and then read them. But for now, thank you so so much for watching this video, I hope that you have a wonderful day, all the best, stay in touch, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye!